the early summer of 1797, a young man stepped down from a stagecoach not far from this spot. The young man's name was J. M. W. Turner. He was 22 years of age and he was on his first major painting tour of the north of England. My name's David Stead, artist and owner of David Stead Gallery here in Kirkgate, Ripon. I can't remember when I first became aware of Turner, but I think I must have been about 12 or 13. And since then, I've studied his life and his work. When you do that with an artist, they kind of become a part of you, a friend, and that's what's happened with Turner. But I think it was when I moved to Ripon and I discovered that he'd made a major drawing of Kirkgate in the cathedral from right outside the gallery here, that it really fired my interest. And, and then I began the Turner project, following in his footsteps through the north of England and painting in some of the places that he'd visited and painted. Standing beneath Durham Cathedral, where Turner came in... Okay, so that's a bit of background. Now time for a quick change and off to the cathedral. So Turner's 1797 tour of the north was largely occasioned by his association with Edward LaSalle's of Harwood. Edward LaSalle's a young man about the same age as Turner, but he's absolutely loaded. He's just inherited 200,000 from his grandfather. He's got an income of about 30,000 a year, and he's a great supporter of young up-and-coming artists, the avant-garde. John Sell Cotman, John Varley, Turner himself and Thomas Girton were all supported by LaSalle's. I'll talk about Girton later because it's quite interesting. Turner made two highly wrought drawings from here in the north transept. Even for a man of Turner's abilities, they are extraordinary in their architectural detail and spatial awareness, and probably two of the most highly wrought drawings on the entire trip. I'm hoping what I said could make you change your mind. So Edward LaSalle's commissioned Turner to make paintings of Harewood House and on the back of that came this tour of the north of England which included Ripon. The tour was transformative for Turner. This was the time when he turned from what was essentially an architectural draftsman into the landscape painter that we know, concentrating on colour, light and above all atmosphere. Outside the cathedral, in what was then an enclosed precinct, Turner drew the west front. He drew it with just enough sparing detail to make the thing sparkle and come to life. It was a lesson in economy and restraint. The late 18th, early 19th century was the golden age of stagecoach travel, and many of them passed through Ripon. The telegraph coach ran Newcastle to London in 36 hours, imagine that. And the Royal Mail coach, Glasgow to London, passed through here too. There were more local services too, the Courier, the High Flyer and the wonderfully named Tally Ho coach, which ran Ripon to Leeds daily. Many of these were serviced in the stabling yards at the back of the Unicorn Hotel. So it's likely that Turner stayed there or here at the nearby Royal Oak. Both inns were long established by the time of his arrival the Royal Oak run by the Asquith family throughout the 18th century. Turner's Kirkgate to Cathedral drawing is fascinating both historically and artistically. 
historically because it shows the now long gone enclosing precinct wall and the stagecoach rounding Minster Road, possibly the same stagecoach Turner arrived on. But the reason I find this drawing in particular so fascinating is that whilst Turner started it here outside my gallery, you can't actually see the cathedral from here. So this meant that he had to walk 20 yards down the road to the other side to draw the north side of Kirkgate from this position here where he could now see the cathedral. It's impossible to know now whether Turner had ever really intended to make a full-blown oil painting of Kirkgate or the cathedral. I think it's unlikely. What he was doing was gathering information about his environment. This, after all, was an environment to which he was unused. He came from central London and it must have been quite a difference for him. From Kirkgate, Turner moved into the wider landscape to make some more distant views of Ripon and the cathedral. And in part two, we'll visit some of those places and have a look at a couple of other artists from the 18th century who painted Ripon. Mm -hmm.